school age girl playing Chinese checkers Looking at teachers, no, never check us Look around the corner, see what we got Time for Jimmy smoking some pot, so pass it around While we go downtown, turn the frown around We're all living in a mad head of stomach Take my hand now, babe, I'll be your best friend Take some time to miss the West Coast driving You are now a part of this big master plan Fighting a war full of all these haters People in the everglades even like it Drones in our school, everybody gets a name All of the children say hit me for it Look my eyes, tell me you're clean You are going under if you know what I mean Today on Podcast Rock City Live, we're going to find out the thing that everybody wants to know. We are. Who shot JR. Today live <laughs> on Podcast Rock City. Podcast Rock City. What's up, everybody? Joe here from Podcast Rock City. And with me this week is Joey E. E. Casada. Yo, what a much better intro without that piece of garbage poony on. You <laughs> saved some for me. You're welcome. I did my best. And down there in the corner is the lovely and talented Miss Lee Westy. What's also up, known everybody? as the goddess of thunder. All right. Now, and then up there in the other corner, uh, the guy that everybody already is here to, to talk up here and see, and that's Andrew Scambati. How you doing, Andrew? Uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Now, listen, this is important. I want to make sure you guys know this. Your, your comments are coming through so fast there's no way I can run the show and put them all up. I'm going to do my best, okay? Um, and please be friendly to each other. If you don't like somebody, uh, you know, be be cool, you know. I just yeah, keep put, scrolling. Yeah, keep scrolling. Uh, all right, so this isn't just going to be that. We're going to do a regular show because we missed yesterday because I had something come up. I did get a lot of messages going, hey, is everything okay? I'm going to tell you yes, and I'm, I'm even going to tell you why we didn't do a show. They, my son, it was, his birthday was last month, but this was his opportunity to celebrate it around his uh, extended family, and they just happened to do it at around the same time as we were doing, we would do this. So, can't miss that, and I'm sure you, you guys very understand. selfish, Joe. Tell your uh, son he's selfish, too. It's all the fans <laughs> out there. <laughs> um, anyway, all right, so let's go ahead and get to the news. Podcast Rock City News. There is so much to talk about. Um, it doesn't just involve our topic of the week. And I want to make sure that we talk about it because last week's show, we didn't bring it up. But we're going to go ahead and talk about this. We will get to what everybody's waiting on. Um, but before we do that, I want to make sure you guys out there know we do this show every Sunday normally. Sunday, 7 p.m. live, just like you're here right now. You're watching this show live. You're posting your comments. You guys are all able to chat and talk about what we're talking about. And that's what makes the live show awesome. You're able to be involved and be part of the show. If your comments are awesome, we throw them on the screen and we talk about them. Or we make sure that everybody watching gets a chance to comment on them. <laughs> um, you can message us or send us an email at podcastrockcity one that's the number one at gmail.com podcast that's the number Rock one. City <laughs> podcast. That's his line. Pod, he never misses his lines unless he's <laughs> chewing food on the area. Anyway, podcast <laughs> rock city one, the number one at gmail.com. They announced the creatures box set. 
Did you guys all, we have all been looking at the creatures box set. Mm -hmm. What did you guys think? Joey, did you look at that? Yeah, it looks great. I mean, all the, uh, the live stuff looks great. I'm not going to buy it, but it looks great. It's, it's 300 bucks. I am a hundred percent not buying it. You're Um, not buying it. No, it's I'll, I'll stream it just like everyone else. Unfortunately, I don't want all the goodies that come in it. All I want is the the live creature stuff. That's what I. Wait, hold on, hold on. This this is this is demos. This is coming from a guy who doesn't want any of the paper goods and the goodies in there, and he literally has a wall full of 1970s Star Wars action figures. So, so Uh I have to save my money for for good stuff. I can't waste it on kiss stuff. (laughs) I gotta buy vintage action figures. Well, I'll tell you this. Um, speaking of that, that's really funny that you mentioned those action figures. Karen went to Disney World a couple weeks ago and she mm. brought me a t shirt, and it's nothing but the original Aww. action figures that oh, came neat. out. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's my girl. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and go ahead and get to this and talk to you guys about what's in this box set. We'll spend a couple of minutes on this. Um, if I could read it, of course. Um, so, well, I mean, damn, I'm not even wearing my glasses. Where the hell are my glasses? You could have just rolled the commercial. The commercial shows everything in there. Oh, really? Well, thanks. Hold on. We can't just roll the commercial, Andrew. We can't use other people's footage. Yes, we get in trouble for that. Trust me. There's consequences to that. Okay, Okay, so in the nicely done. Uh, there's a box set, it's $300. Creatures of the Night 40th Anniversary Super Deluxe Edition comes with. 80-page hardcover book with extensive liner notes by Ken Sharp. Uh, and then I get an ad. Um, <laughs> creatures, of, Yeah, buy this. Cre- see something you like? We've all got that one, haven't you? Uh, cre- uh, band press bio sheet. Creatures tour band new poster. Uh, 11 uh, by 17. Two stage drawings. Loudest band in the world poster. 16 by 24. Wow, that's pretty big. That's pretty so, big. It's not the like original. The ori- oh, I have not, the original. It's smaller right? than the original. It's smaller than the okay. original. I have that too. Um, <laughs> Japanese promo poster, band, black and white promo, Gene, Paul, Eric, and Vinny color photos. Creatures 40th t-shirt, iron on and transfer uh, sheet. I love it loud. Bumper sticker, Australian creature sticker. Um, some uh, a, a Rio show from Rio de Janeiro, Detroit VIP cloth sticky backstage. Pa- Damn, just just go online and look it up. Three hundred dollars, <laughs> and and then you get the CDs. <coughs> CDs nuts. CDs, all right. You know. I, so I mean, here's the thing. I mean, there's there's demos and live stuff that we've never that have never circulated in any type of trading circle. So I mean, I thought that was cool. Um, they finally rectified the glaring mistake of the Destroyer anniversary box set where Destroyer included an audience recording as the live show. So um, so now we have a whole disc full of Creatures of the Night you know, performances. Finally, we get a soundboard recording of Vinnie Vincent. So yeah, listen, it, it's, listen it, it's cool. I can't wait to get mine. And um, yeah, I, it's, it, it's really cool. I'm just as yeah. excited about this one as I was about Destroyer. No, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I, I think it's phenomenal. I think all the stuff being included in it. I just wish, you know, they would put out different editions. People want all the goodies. They should be able to get it for 300 bucks. 300 bucks for the average buyer, I think, is too much. I really do. Well, I mean, the uh, only thing that's that's eliminated is the, uh, the Blu-ray disc. When you stream it or buy it from Apple Music, you get all of the music discs. Just not right. the Blu-ray disc, and the Blu-ray disc isn't any video. It's just uh, Blu-ray 5.1 audio. That's it. Right, right. So if you want to go on Apple Music or any streaming service, you can get everything on there without any of the goodies and the chotskis. Mm. Yeah, and you know, I, I don't have the kind of a uh, player that could play that that uh, that special DVD Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I and make it sound right in my house. I don't know about everybody else, but. I only know one person with that kind of a sound system. Do you guys have anything like that? Mm-hmm. No. no, me neither. Uh, so if you guys want to check that out, go to kissonline.com and check it out. One other thing happened this week, and that is Kiss Plate Australia. Finally. Oh, yeah. Goldmine came out. Oh, and the Andrew, magazine. Show that again. How many different covers are there? 33 covers. 33 different covers. No, no. In all seriousness, there are three different covers. Um, mm-hmm. There's two general release covers the gene cover that i showed and the band cover and then that gene cover down at the bottom in red that special edition 
that's already sold out. It was a goldmine.com exclusive, but you can get this one everywhere. I got this one at Barnes and Noble, and yes, the other two are so on the way. I'll go Great ahead and cover. say this. Cool stuff. I'll yeah. say this live on the air. I do not have a Barnes and Noble near me, but about about a mile and a half away from a certain somebody's house that I love very much, there is. So me, make, no, I do love you though. Do you I have, have one? A, I have one pretty close. Oh really? Yeah. Well, Karen does too. <laughs> and uh, Lee's like me. Oh, I do love you, Lee. I could get uh, you one. <laughs> quick, 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 okay, a million too. Quick question mm. with the creatures box set. So right now, is it still only available through Kiss Online? Is it yes. anywhere else, like Amazon or anything else? Yeah, it'll be on Amazon like two weeks. So yeah. do we know the price on Amazon when it comes out? Same. Is the it same. definitely the, same? The, yeah, the, the the page already leaked. It was up for a couple hours and it was pulled down. Same gotcha. thing as Destroyer. Like it's announced on Kiss Online, they want to get all those yep. sales on Kiss Online, and then it goes to other retailers. So it, it'll be on Amazon. Um. Okay. So Kiss played Australia, and um, I'm not going to say I, I'm not going to talk about certain things so far. I do will tell you that a listener and now very close friend of mine uh, purchased an Australian T-shirt for me, and it is in the mail Ooh. and on the way here. I'm very excited nice. about Lucky that. Lucky you. Um, and um, I am waiting on all they wanted was a podcast Rock City shirt and trade. So I am currently waiting on one from where, uh, Joey? Uh, where? Click T. Click T. Oh. Click T. Click T's. You can get your t shirts at Click T's. So listen, there's 120 of you guys in, in the room now. And I know what we're waiting on. So we're just going to go ahead and get there. Let's get go it. ahead, get to the topic of the week. week. Just go. Podcast Rock. So, um, yeah, um, all right, so Andrew is here, um, and this is, I'm going to start this, and I'm going to go ahead and, and get everything out that I have to say. So, for weeks now, uh, this whole Sam Loomis thing has been going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Video footage has been showing up online uh, that we have all not, you have seen. You know what I'm going to say. We've never seen it before. Some people may have seen it a little bit here and there, little parts of it, but never the whole thing like the kite fest and stuff like that. We've only seen little pictures or whatever, but this time there was chunks of video that was put out right now. Mm -hmm. um, almost about, I would say about two weeks into that, we started hearing about this person, Sam Loomis, who is <laughs> Sam Loomis. And, um, you know, it's just, who is Sam Loomis? It's this mystery. And, Entity. And yes. Now, um, uh, there have been a number of names that have been thrown out. OK. And I have had the opportunity to ask every one of them, except for maybe one. Uh, hey, are you Sam Loomis? And <laughs> every time it's been no. And that includes Andrew here and has been accused of being Sam Loomis um, on multiple shows, um, on multiple Facebook pages. On um, uh, not in any kind of a, I haven't seen any articles or anything where they accuse him of being uh, Sam Loomis. Now, fairness to podcast Rock City and Andrew could back us up. We have got we went to Andrew weeks ago and said, dude, you need to come out and let everybody know this isn't you. And he's like, I don't know. I don't know why. Why? You know, but yeah. now. Now it's up, you know, I guess it's certain things he's is gone too far. And Andrew has decided to to open up the door and let us all know what. Well, I mean, let's take it back even farther than this whole thing. Um, you know, first of all, hats off to to the show podcast Rock City, because you guys have always been a huge supporter of me. So let's take it back even a couple months further back where you guys graciously had me on to talk about one of my fan films, which would be the greatest show on earth too. Now, unfortunately everybody knows the stories surrounding that, that I was not able to release that I was asked not to by the band and I obliged. So you won't see any greatest show on earth two out there ever. Ooh. But when your favorite band sends you a cease and desist, 
most people don't know ha- how to react. So did I react poorly to that? Probably, you know, I, when I got the, the cease and desist, I didn't want to put any bad light on the band because again, this is the band's footage. This all belongs to the band. I, I never was out to uh, profit or any of that stuff. So when they, when they asked me to stop, I knew that it was a risk every time that I had done something. So, uh, but again, my first cease and desist, anybody would have reacted probably more through their heart than through their heads. That's what I did. Said the laptop got stolen because I didn't want anybody to say, Oh, you know, F kiss and this and that. I, I didn't want, I, I didn't want to, to do any of that stuff. I didn't want any bad light to be put on kiss because again, this, all this stuff does belong to them. Okay. So, now hold on one second. Hold on one second. Yeah, I want to yeah. make sure that we're, we're clear on this. So you, you basically, when you make your films, you basically are taking footage that you don't own and putting it together and making a fan film, basically yeah. celebrating the band. So celebrating the band for no profit whatsoever and basically doing it as a video fanzine. I mean, I know Lee and Joey probably remember probably you too. You probably remember the how popular fanzines were back in the day where people right. use their oh, own yeah. money to make these things if um just to promote the band and celebrate the band. And yeah. A lot of the times when I made these fan films, I said, hey, here are the things that I use. Go out and buy them because, you know, there's no law that says I can't take something and make something else if I own it, you know, if I own a copy of it. So I was really, really uh, adamant about telling people, hey, this is just something for fun and and enjoy it for what it is. Don't make any copies. Don't be selling it. That's not that's not what this is about. At the same time, I kind of thought that this would be a really great uh, resume. So if anybody ever wanted to hire me or do anything with me these films that are on youtube that have been viewed over a million times was a great resume so it made all the sense in the world to me but i also understood that there was always a risk behind this and when they shut me down i was like okay well i mean listen it absolutely sucks um but i'm not gonna fight it and so it it is what it is so the movie never came out it's never going to come out this is the only copy right here it's not coming out. It's right here. So can you show it to friends? <clears throat> if anybody wants to come to my house that already has my address, you absolutely can. That's <laughs> not against the law. So the reason why we're starting here and the reason why we're mentioning this is because unfortunately this makes me an easy target because like I said, I did lie on a public domain about the about what actually happened to the movie. So I've basically given a lot of people who want to speculate all the ammunition they need. Now that's my fault. That's unfortunate that I had to do that. But again, I think someone said it in the chat too. One of their favorite bands is Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden and Cinema Season just they would, you know, they'd be crushed. So just think about that for a second. Just I mean, Joey, think about it for a minute. You know, think about if the creator of pasta sent you cease and desist and said you couldn't <laughs> eat pasta anymore. You'd probably be you know, uh, a little, uh, no, but you, know, did, you, little you didn't back. listen. You, you, the, the little <laughs> lie you told was mm-hmm. like you said, you did it to protect, you didn't want people screaming, screw kiss. Why mm-hmm. did they do this to you? How, mm-hmm. how dare they? You did it as a little white lie. No, right. harm, no foul. Exactly. Yes. And then well, I came clean about it. Because... People got to change it into something else. Well, well couldn't you, you, you think that if you would have come out and said, <clears throat> Hey guys, listen, I have been given a cease and desist by the band Kiss. The you know it's I do not own this material. It's it is theirs and it is completely within their rights to do so. Um, you know you don't well, think people I mean, would have I handled that well. That, I don't know. I kind of thought that I had done that because every time I'd been on shows just like yours, I kind of explained why I was doing what I was doing, and it it was only it, it wasn't to I mean I wasn't selling anything. I didn't even make it. People would ask me all the time for DVDs. I never made anything. I never made Andrew, anything. Why do you think it happened this time and not some of the others? Well, some people may know this and some people may not know this. This time I got an ex-member of Kiss involved with the promotion and Bruce Kulick was involved and was kind of giving his tip of the hat that this was his era of Kiss and he helped me promote it. There was so much groundswell. Joey, you know, you were at Creature's Fest. I mean, yeah. you guys were all at Creature's Fest. We were Fest. all I mean, there. There was so much yep. swell about this. This was mm-hmm. going to be the biggest thing I ever did. And maybe right. it was too big to be a fan film. Maybe that was the problem. I don't know. 
I kind of always, I went to the, the Gene Simmons school of marketing where I was like, well, I'm going to promote this. I'm going to promote this on every podcast. I'm going to do everything. I'm going to talk about it every day. And I'm going to, you know, um, bring, I, I'm gonna, just going to keep talking about it before people, so everybody sees it and they know that it's coming. I'm trying to read the comments as I'm talking. So if I, if I do that, I, I'm apologizing. Um, There's a nice one. Yeah, I, I, I really appreciate that. So, you know, it got too big too fast. And mm. when I kind of step back and kind of realize that, I go, okay. So I took it with, with a grand slam. I mean, I'm sitting in a kiss room right now. Um, if I was angry about the seasons, this, do you think I'd be sitting in a room full of kiss stuff right now? No. no, this is this is their stuff. It's always been their stuff. So I understood why they did what they did. Did I like it? No. Sometimes bad shit just happens. Listen, a really good friend told me to there is a puppy probably getting hit by a car right now. There's nothing we can do about that. So this was just one of those things that just happened. It was bad. So the unfortunate part about this is because that bad thing happened. It made me a very easy target because my credibility had already taken a, a hit because of what I had to do. So that kind of bleeds into the next subject of wh why me? Why are people, why are people naming as me? Well, because I'm an easy target at this point. So, um, but here's the, I didn't come on here today to point fingers or name names or do any of that stuff because at the end of the day, I, I don't care and it doesn't matter. But what I do care about is I just want, I want to, um, I want people to stop blaming me on this. I want um, just to be left out of this. This is, this is crap. This is kiss videos. There's other things going on, you know, um, in life. You know, I, I have a coworker that may or may not be pregnant or may or may not have a miscarriage. I have people that have cancer. There, there are bigger things at play in the world than kiss videos. Are they cool to see? Hell yeah, I was freaking out when I was seeing these videos for the first time. It was incredible. But the thing that the, the constant that remains from beginning to now is any time that I've done something, I go back to the Gene Simmons School of Marketing, anytime that I've done something, I want all the pomp and circumstance. A lot of the people in the chat here, and you guys probably know this too, when I released the I video in 2018, whose name was all over it? It was mine. It was yours. It was mine because I wanted, I wanted the attention from that. I wanted people to say, "Look at what he did." I, I wanted them to, you know, make me out to be the, the, the good guy in the, in this whole thing. So I gotta tell you, when this whole Sam Loomis thing started happening, and I had just gotten out of the Greatest Show on Earth two debacle, I could have used some good press. I really, really could have. So. If I could have taken an opportunity like that, I would have been a heartbeat because I took a beating for the greatest show on earth too. And I, just, I needed something. I needed, I wanted someone to say, well, hey, you know, he's good. Because aside from the people that allegedly may or may not have been involved in it, the reactions to everything that Sam Lewis done were positive. People saying, thank you. I could have used some of that after people, you know, saying all kinds of things about me after um, I had to honor the season to from Kiss. So, so just quickly, and I, don't, I don't think the question yeah. has actually been asked yet. We'll ask it now, and you, it'll be mm -hmm. black and white. Are yep. you Sam Loomis? No. No. So okay. All the people I'm out not. there who are wondering, there's the answer. <clears throat> okay. So I'm here, not. here's the thing. Now, 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 let me play devil's advocate. What, what, what do you say to the people that are going? He says he's not Sam Loomis, but I still believe that he is. It doesn't matter. You, you. I mean, in, in the end. You know, I, I, I understand that you're you've pretty much gotten to the point now where you're like, all right, I've taken all I could take. Now, what mm -hmm. led you to fight? Now, you released a statement right yesterday. What mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. led you to that point? What what pushed you to that point? Well, my personal channel was attacked that currently hosts all my fan films. And yes, they're not monetized. I'm not feeding my family through the fan films, but having that badge of honor, they've been viewed it a million times. That was something I was proud of. So mm -hmm. the, the channel was attacked yesterday. It has two copyright strikes on it. So that means if it gets another, everything done, gone. One last time, been viewed half a million times, gone. Kiss at Midnight, 300,000 times been viewed, gone. 
all these great things that the KISS fans have enjoyed is going to be gone. Andrew, and, how did and, you get the strikes? What happened? So I opened up my email yesterday and three, well, two of my videos were hit. They says that content in this videos belongs to elite works at eBay. Hmm. And that's what the email said. And then when I opened up to look at it, I, it says that this person claims copyright on this. And then if I need to, if I need to file a suit against him, to, to false, I need to do that. But the problem is, is I'm not the owner of this footage either. So I'm not going to be able to go against this copyright strike. But at the same mm -hmm. time, Elite Works at eBay doesn't own the iVideo and certainly doesn't own part of the greatest show on earth. So the, the drawback with YouTube is it's all automated. You could almost say and do whatever you want on you YouTube. You could do that to anyone, right? You would do nope. it to anyone. Right, right. And then you can't well, there's just, no and there's no way to get in touch with YouTube to fix that. But my well, but again, my, just remember, just remember, even if there was an eight hundred number to call for YouTube, doesn't I matter. still you don't, don't own, own this footage. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Andrew, why do you think um Elite Works, whatever it's called, did this? just just out of spite? Is it a vengeful thing? Well, there have been other channels that have been taken down that have been showing rare and unreleased KISS footage. And one of the things that was hit on my channel was the iVideo, which was rare and unreleased. Do you know who actually owns that video? The iVideo? Yes. KISS. KISS owns that video. So here's Kiss my question. How did that get out? <clears throat> How did that get into your hands? Um, I don't, don't really know if I want to go into that, but it was I. I became and I purchased one of the Umatic tapes, and I had it transferred. Okay. So I purchased a copy of it. I didn't purchase any of the rights to it, but at the same time, it it had been going, it it had been going on for so long that you know it was just I, we bought a tape and we we released it. So it's Andrew. It, do, it was, do you it was think, years ago. Do you think Kiss themselves or their management or the lawyers have anything to do? with elite works or anything like that or is it no. just some person it's some person it's a private person that is elite works at ebay so back to that back to the other question obviously we just asked you if you were sam loomis and mm -hmm. you've denied it obviously there's no reason for you to lie come on here and lie after all this time you might as well come on and tell the truth right next question and, and you don't have to answer and you don't have to point fingers we're not asking you that we're just do you think you do know who sam loomis is no, and, and here's here's why. I mean, you guys know because, I mean, Joey and Joe, you guys have asked me to come on many times, and I'm just like, listen, I'm just going to ignore all this because if you ignore the best way to combat a bully is just to ignore them, and they'll eventually go away. And until my channel was brought down on all this mm -hmm. stuff, I was just going to ignore it. I don't know or care who Sam Loomis is. I, I'm not looking for I, – I don't, I don't care. I enjoyed the videos that, that were put out. I've – I've kind of enjoyed the drama of it more than the videos. I don't know who Sam Loomis is. I, I don't care who, who Sam Loomis is. Mm -hmm. What I do care about is I do care about that there are a lot of people that are having their work removed from YouTube. And I mean, here's the thing. There, these fan films are such a gray area. And it's not just for Kiss. There's very popular Star Wars fan films. There's all kinds of things. There's, you know, one of the... Uh, one of the Godfathers was re-edited, and, and Francis Ford Coppola, you know, um, you know, reached out to the editor, and that's how they got a job. I mean, this this fan films are they run rampant. There's sites that you can access people's mm -hmm. fan films because it's just a fan. It's like, well, hey, I I, I think it, the story might work better this way, and it's people and, doing it because they love the they love the right. property. And, and it's a stepping they, stone, right? Like stepping said, stone. Kiss might ask you to do something. Yeah, well, like you said, Andrew, I know, I know personally, there are people who worked on some Star Wars fan films and stuff that mm -hmm. got hired by Lucasfilm, right. got hired by Disney because mm -hmm. their work was better than what the big studios were doing. So, mm -hmm. what you're doing and what you've done with your videos, first of all, I think is amazing. I think your your work is incredible. Mm -hmm. You're not monetizing anything. You're not actually. Doing let, any let me let me touch on that for one yeah. one second. The channel is monetized, and all of the revenue goes to Universal Music, UMG. Right. Of course. So anytime you watch one of the videos and an ad runs, the revenue goes to Universal. Right. right. So anyone, who, yeah. anyone who's unfamiliar with stuff like that, so the way YouTube works is if you were to post, let's just say Joe were to post a Kiss song in one of the episodes of Podcast Rock City. Kiss, more than likely, as soon as he posts it on YouTube, you he would get a copyright claim, not a copyright strike. He would just get a claim 
for that footage. And that claim doesn't mean it comes down, doesn't mean there's anything bad happening to the channel. All that means is, like what Andrew just said, Universal or whoever owns that music clip is, is going to monetize anything off of that video. And that's how it should be. If they own the rights to whatever you're using in those videos, they should be able to monetize it. And that's also why a lot of times these companies leave a lot of these fan films up or leave, you know, review shows. I have a podcast, Top uh, top 5 with Joey Casada. I use audio and video all the time from different stuff that's copywritten. And what happens is it gets monetized by those companies. I make zero dollars off of that stuff. I do it as a fun podcast. And they monetize my channel, and that's how it works, right, Andrew? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, okay. There's something, so- there's something called fair use, and you know, there's it's such a gray area. And because it was such a gray area, and because I've done this for so long, I was like, well, hey, they're going to let me do this. The first thing someone's going to do when they watch one of my films is go and buy a Kiss record, and I want them to do that. So this wasn't this wasn't something to take anything away from the band this was just again this is this was a love letter to the band so why do you think so this guy Mm -hmm. sam loomis has come out right so he comes Mm -hmm. out obviously we know it's not you now this guy sam loomis comes out and starts dumping these dumping these videos online to what end and just your, your opinion obviously you don't know who it is what's your opinion why does this guy come online to do this what's his What's his end goal? I guess he was trying to hurt whomever he may or may not have purchased them from. I mean, I mean, you read all the comments. The comments sounded like it was a deranged eighth grader that was <laughs> writing all of the comments in the video. So sometimes the comments didn't make any didn't make any sense or just I, I don't know. I don't know. We could speculate who they came from and where they came from. And again, anyone can speculate about this. You know, privately, probably some people do know. But, but again, we're, we're not, here's the thing. We're not here to point fingers, you know, um, we're, we're not here to, 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 to say this is this person, the same as this person. I'm here to say this, this, this has to end because, you know, there was a guy, his name was Necromonium. His channel was gone. Now my channel is, is, is going to, you know, probably go this, this stuff's got to end. This is, this is stupid. And we, we all just need to realize that there's – we'll never know what, what the truth Andrew, is behind that. Andrew, let me ask you. So on the yeah. bootleg front, whether it's this, whether it's a hard drive, whether it's DVDs, mm-hmm. you know, the old Kiss Visions, mm-hmm. how does this area work? So if you were at a convention and hypothetically there was someone selling, selling Kiss Vision videos or old mm-hmm. Kiss DVDs, whatever they were, which they were rampant back in the 90s, early 2000s, yeah. right? If you were to buy one of those, are you the one at fault? Is the guy selling it at fault? How does it work? The guy is selling it is the one at fault. So I, mean, I know these answers, just so you know. I'm I'm I want to hear this from you. Here, here's what I understand, and here's what I've understood for many, many years. A lot of these things, KISS, there was such a gray area with all of this stuff. A gray area to the point that the only way to stop these people what I mean with these people is the bootleggers from selling them is to officially release them. So what happened? Kissology happened. All those things that were being sold illegally are now officially released on Kissology. So in terms of something like this alleged hard drive that was going around Loomis that Loomis has or whoever else has. So this is almost just like another bootleg that someone bought, right? Whether it was you, whether it was someone else, this thing was out yeah, there. To yeah, purchase, I mean, right. Breaking it down to the to the most to to the actual core of it. Yes, this hard drive or this pack of DVDs, everything is just another bootleg that someone didn't own and someone sold to many other people. And and I and I could tell you this with one hundred percent certainty. There was someone that says, "Where's the evidence? Where's the receipts?" I can tell you with a hundred and ten percent certainty. The receipts, the proof, all of the irrefutable evidence has been provided to the to the proper people. I can it tell has. you that as a fact. Okay, that, so honestly, okay. and that's really the, the most important thing. And listen, we're not asking you for proof. We don't need you don't mm-hmm. need to show us shit, dude. You mm-hmm. have it, or whoever else, whoever the other person you're talking about has proof. 
when it's when time comes that that proof is needed, that proof will come out. Until then, it's nobody's business. That's correct. Okay, so here here's my question though. In your statement, right? You said you have one of these hard drives, correct? Uh, should I say this? I don't know. Um, I guess it's, listen, um, after the, after, uh, I'm just trying to think about how to word this properly. After the, um, after all these leaks have started, there have been many lists that may be on DVD, maybe on hard drive, maybe on CD. They've been openly sold and traded. And I will say this too. Here's, here's, here's what else I could say. I will say this. The hard drive and or DVD that I had uh, came in possession of, the person that provided me with this accidentally included their video of them getting the vault from Gene Simmons on the video, on the hard drive. There you go. So, uh, all right. So, but here's the thing. All right. So this is, this is where I'm going with this. It's like, the, it, it's uh, what? Okay. So obviously you've been really quiet about this because people were saying shit about you, but you were like, mm -hmm. if I let it go, it'll go away. It'll go. Yeah. It'll, it'll eventually go away. Okay. Yeah. And you just figured, let it, let it fly, let it fly, let it fly, whatever. Um, no. So then, um, you know, and we had asked you to come on the show and clear your own name because we thought it was important. If you, you know, weren't guilty of this, then you come on and you say, shit, dude, I wish it was me, but it's not. Like me. I said, I do. I do wish it was me because I, I'll tell you all of the accolades that the Sam Loomis guy got. I wanted that, especially after the failure of Greatest Runner 2. And I wanted girl. those accolades. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's one thing I know about Andrew. He wants accolades. Yeah. And it, just, you know, this is the only time in your history, Andrew, that you're getting more viewers than me. They, the people <laughs> tuned in to see you tonight, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So, but here's, here's, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Okay. You, you, and, and this is something that, you know, I think really needs to be, you know, said you, you're, you are upset that people's channels are getting removed. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and when did the person's channel get that you were talking about? I can't remember. Neck something. Uh, Necromonium. He, his channel was the first to go. How long ago Ooh. was that? I would say maybe a month ago. I think he's in the chat. So if you if he has a if he can tell me when, but his channel was removed as well too. And he's another content creator just like me who's doing this just for fun. Right. Well, here here's the question. So. How come nobody came to this guy's defense before you? And you you did wait a bit. You are obviously you're a creator and this is personal to you. This happened to this guy and why aren't more people coming to this guy's defense? You know, I don't know, but I've basically drawn a giant target on myself for doing this. And, you know, Joe, you know because we talked throughout the day that I was didn't know if I was going to come on and do this because again, unfortunately, <laughs> This isn't, this isn't, this isn't going to stop here. I wish it would, but people are afraid that, am I in possession of this? Am I, did I do something wrong? Did I do this? I mean, so, but it, it can't, it, it can't continue. It can't. Listen, at so, the end of the day, whether you're in possession of a hard drive or not, everyone is in possession of all these videos. Now they've seen all of them. People have been mm -hmm. downloading stuff and Google drives. Mm -hmm. These things are everywhere now. It's mm -hmm. the people who are leaking them. And the people who are yeah. spreading these and distributing these things, those are the people who are wrong. People who are watching them, we're, we're just watching stuff that people are posting. We're not doing anything mm -hmm. wrong. We're just, mm -hmm. what am I supposed to not watch a, a new Kiss video that comes online? First yeah. thing I'm going to do is press play. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. yeah. Yeah. So, and, and I mean, and, and here's the thing I didn't come on you to name names, I and mean, I didn't come on you to do that, you know. Um, like I said, the correct proof has been provided to the correct people. But again, sometimes bad shit just happens. Um, but I'm sick and tired of people dragging my name through the dirt because, you know, I uh, I, I had nothing to do. I had absolutely nothing to do with, with any of this. And um, I just I just like the band. I want to get back to just liking the band. Mm hmm.
again, the, the stuff with the YouTube videos and the YouTube channels, that's all, it's, it all sucks because at the end of the day, all of that stuff is copyrighted stuff by the band Kiss, whether it's- And, and by the way, and by the way, I do want to, I do want to mention this, whatever I'm in possession of, it's never left me. So if- Right, you're not sharing have, it, you're not distributing it, right? Absolutely not. Yeah, you don't even distribute the greatest show on earth. I am distribute the stuff that I created. Right. And so, and to be fair, whatever you have is no different than 99% of the people that are sitting at home re pulling it off the YouTube. I mm -hmm. said that like the weed, like the pot. <laughs> the the, YouTube. Pulling it the off pot. YouTube, you know, and keeping it in their own possession. You know, somebody sends you, uh, if, if tomorrow morning I wake up and go out to my mailbox and there's a hard drive in there, it's no different if I own that compared to if I were to sat here on YouTube all week and just hit record, record, download, download, download. It's no different. That's correct. I'm still in possession of something that that I don't own. And the fact that... Who is this guy? Varo, Var, VA, Rock City 1. Virginia Rock City who I, have cares? No I mean, idea. here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm out here using my name and using my face. Why don't you oh, do so the same just, thing? Just ask if you purchased and re uploaded. Go to the Didn't. What is it? What does he? What does he mean? He's asking if I have like any DVDs or any hard drive if I've made copies and sold it to people, which I didn't. Well, then this other person. Wait, wait, here no, wait. Can't which, you, which answer the question? No, you did mm -hmm. not, right? That's correct. I did not. Okay. There we go. And then, and then. There's someone called Facebook user says I'm part of the Kiss Army Revenge Facebook group and I'm actually not. The owner of that group is here and he knows that I'm not a part of that group either. So here's the thing: you got to get your facts straight. And these are facts right. about me. Right, Joe. Post that next one. That next comment. Right. So involved in in a in a group just because you're a member of the group does not mean you're involved in a group. There are a lot I'm of not, people actually. that are members of groups that have no say on what those groups distribute, no say on what content they, they post. Just because you're a right. member of a group doesn't mean you're- I'm on the page. I'm on the page. Hold on, hold on, but hold on. I'm not even on the page. You're not even on it. Yeah, but even if you were, it has not, again, this is all hearsay garbage. Um, people, are, people are distributing this. And yeah, everyone that's distributing it, whether it's the first guy that sold it, the second guy that shared it, Loomis shared it a million times. Every one of those people are technically wrong. Everyone that's sharing this footage that Kiss mm. owns, nobody else, Kiss owns, you're all wrong. So I said it a million mm -hmm. times. You're all the villains. There's no good guys here. Everyone sharing illegal footage is wrong. Do I like the footage? Of course I like the footage. Mm -hmm. We all like we the all footage. Do. We, want, we want to see more footage. Yes, but everyone yes. who thinks that they sh they're they sharing it because they got it from someone else or they're in a Facebook group or they're on a YouTube channel, you're all doing something wrong. So if you want it, if you if you don't want to get in trouble, stop doing that stuff. It's that easy. Um, yeah. This Just comment right here. So, so here, here's, you know, there, this was something that was sent to me where, where you were basically saying it's time, uh, I guess on a, on a FAQ board where, you know, people were and people were, I guess, legitimately concerned that you were going to start naming names. You're not doing that. Mm -mm. You're not. You're, There's one name that's been consistently mentioned throughout this whole thing. And you guys can speculate on whose name that is or isn't, but you know, there's one name that's been the constant throughout this entire thing. Okay. And the, um, at the end of the day, names don't matter. There's one name we're still looking for. Who the hell is Sam Loomis? Sam Loomis. All this other stuff. Who's Sam Loomis mad at? Who the hell gives a shit who Sam Loomis is mad at? We're all just, that's the, that's the funny stuff. It's like the mm -hmm. Scooby-Doo episode when you pull the mask mm -hmm. off the guy at the end. We're just trying mm -hmm. to was trying to solve the unsolved mystery. That's all we're doing. Nobody yeah, cares yeah. about where this footage originally came from. The guy, whoever's shutting down YouTube channels, stop doing it. Nobody cares about that stuff. Don't hurt these people's YouTube channels. It's all right. useless garbage, guys. Well, here, here, here's the thing. Okay. Um. In the end. <laughs> in the end, knowing what. Okay, so somebody had this hard drive, right? Or had this material. Finding out if this 
uh, you hear different things, okay? I, it's all alleged. It's alleged it was sold. It was alleged it was stolen. It was alleged that it was shared. It was alleged that it wasn't. Here's my thing. If this material was stolen, there will be police involved. You're not allowed to just get on your computer, go into a, somebody's cloud, take stuff from them. You, you, this is, there will be heads rolling. We will hear about them. There's no reason to, to say so-and-so must have done it. So-and-so must have done it. I got news for you. We're going to find out if this is there, true. Yeah, there, it, there is, there is proof and I've seen the proof and it's irrefutable proof at the same so, token. Where's the proof that I'm involved in this or the other 900 people that you guys have accused about this are involved? There's no proof of any of that. Again, at the end of the day, listen, there's, there's nobody has to prove anything to anyone. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, mm -hmm. until legal matters take effect, we're asking questions. Yes, I, Andrew, obviously people accuse you. And I agree. It's horseshit when people accuse someone of something. Mm -hmm. Come out and show proof. Holy if you crap. don't have if you don't have proof, you should shut your fucking mouth. End that's of story. Picture, that's a picture of heavy mayo. Oh, speaking <laughs> of heavy mayo, that's one handsome man. He just bought a beautiful t-shirt I saw uh, earlier today. Top five with Joey Casada t-shirt. It's a handsome oh, man. Oh boy. What? What? But seriously, Andrew, what I'm saying is you don't have to prove anything to anyone. But if someone, if your name comes out of someone's mouth, again, you didn't say any names today, but I know you mentioned some names on your your was it your website or Facebook, something like yeah, that. Yeah, right? that's okay. That's okay. Yep, you mentioned names and you're saying when the time comes you do have proof or there's proof ready to be given. You don't have to give that proof to us. You don't have to give it to a Facebook user. You don't have to give it to Sonny Pooney, that idiot. Anyone, anyone that asks. All right. Let's talk about this. Uh, Y'all all get ready. I don't know. Did I do this right? Hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned that I didn't hit the, uh, hit the right button. This is something that was released today. Uh, let's, uh, you guys tell me if you could hear this. Can you hear that? Yep. No. Oh, I no. know. Yes. You you heard, heard it. it. Okay. Okay, here we go. So if you come to my house and kill me and my family, <laughs> I am Sam Lewis. If you sold them this hard drive, like me, you left me in hell. I should have cut your fucking throat. Yeah. trying to get a hold of you and need to discuss some issues about you and Kurt Gooch. I'm going to attempt to call you back later today, so when you see a private number, I would suggest that you answer your phone. Eerie. Okay. <laughs> I'm so I mean scared. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not watching this. It, uh, I, but here's the thing. This is the reason why I brought this up, okay? Um, immediately, uh, somebody says, Andrew makes movies. This must have been put out by Andrew. Andrew, did you put this no. out? No. Was that you, Andrew? Well, I, no. I, I, even, I never like to compliment Andrew, but I think he could do a better job than that. Could you do this for me? Could you say, Sam Lobus? Sam, <laughs> this is so stupid. So I heard something stupid. else about Andrew that the police came to his work and because he chopped Again, up a girl. So stupid. That, that, that was a happened. comment. It said yeah, the police came happened. to Andrew's work and because because yeah, the, 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 the boys of Kiss FAQ just said it perfectly. <laughs> Lawyers and courts get the evidence. There's no, no reason to, to to put anything out online. All that stuff. There's no reason to prove anything to anyone until you have to. But I do agree that if you everyone whoever's accusing other people. Whoever's accusing people, you should back it up with something. Otherwise, don't accuse people. Yeah, otherwise, shut up. Yeah, I mean, look, if you got, if you want to find the real person, you know, I, I do the research, figure it out, and then have them, you know, come out and make a video. And <clears throat> but just so far, I mean, there's been like five or six different people that have had to go on different podcasts and say, I'm not that dude, you know, or whatever. And, you know, uh, it's, it's all screwed up in 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 a mess. And, you know, I'm really at Listen, that it's point. It's time to move on to the next person. Yeah, it really, um, really is. Yes. So Andrew is saying that it is absolutely not him. 
Um, now here's my thing though. And I, and this is what I believe. Um, I, they're going to figure out who it is. I, I, I'm willing to bet that it is completely impossible in, in and possible, excuse me, that if kiss were to go, I want to know who put these videos out originally. They could hire the people to do it. Everybody agree with that? There's actually proof of that. So yes, I, dude. I between you and I, I think the the people who need to know already know who Sam Loomis is, right? And they've known all along. All these other li- little accusations don't mean anything. Probably waiting to move in for the kill. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I, I just I wouldn't imagine. I can't understand why they would wait. It, none of that makes any sense to me. Well, it's like the law, you know. You got to set stuff up correctly. And everything. Yeah, I guess so. Um, uh, Chris, so Andrew, that- at the end of the day, you're saying, listen, it, it's time. Stop <laughs> accusing me. Kiss. Take my name out of your mouth. When you mention Sam Loomis, take my well, name, take my name actually, out of your or, mouth. Or, or, or <laughs> actually something that you Will said you, a couple weeks ago when this whole thing, you, you know, take my name out of your mouth. No. Yeah. So, yeah, you, yeah, or, or, or Andrew, they should, they should prove why they do think it's you or prove who, why they think it's the next person, whatever it is. Yeah, be, don't, you know, don't be, just accuse people. But listen, but listen, I want to be fair on this show. I always am. That doesn't mm-hmm. that doesn't just go for Andrew. It goes for any of any accusation happening, whether it's an accusation saying something was sold, stole, whatever, you can't just say it. Agreed. You got to you got to back it up. It can't just be one person saying this is what happened, what this is what I think happened. What you think happened doesn't really matter. You're right. I mean, it, it doesn't it, matter. It, right, all the rumors going around that somebody stole something from Kiss or stole stuff from A&E and all that stuff. I agree. Stop saying that too, unless you know for sure that that's really true. Shut up! Why are you saying it? All you're doing is is spreading rumors. It doesn't. None of it matters until the facts are out. <laughs> the it's kiss weird. facts. Get it? The kiss <laughs> facts. Very good. You like um, that, Julian? Yeah. Can we just so basically at the end of the day, can we just stop this? <laughs> like seriously. Right. So just leave I Andrew a, alone. I, I literally spent all day on the phone today. Literally all day. I mean, some of the conversations were good ones that I had to have. But why, Andrew, um, just out of curiosity, when you say that, why? What do you mean? Well, why were you on the phone? Getting advice from people? No, because after the people were calling and wanting to know what happened, what, ha- what happened with this and what happened with that. So, you know, there were friends that actually called me. They go, hey, what actually happened? And then you had to tell them the story. Then someone else calls. And you got to tell them the story. And they're like, well, why you? And they're like, well, I had this movie. The greatest show on earth too. And when you tell the story from beginning to end, you under you can understand why somebody picked me as the fall guy. Oh yeah. That. Because as I mentioned, I got some backlash for the um season desist of the greatest show on earth. So yeah. So here here's a question for you. Right. Would would you think uh, and and it, uh, I'm gonna ask Joey and then you guys could all say what you want to say. Joey do you think that Sam Loomis is one person or do you think it's a group of people? I think maybe it's one person posting, but I think it's a couple people involved in it. I don't, I don't know for sure, of course, but I don't think it's just one person kind mm. of trying to hurt this other person. Or I think there's a couple people mad for whatever reason they're mad at and they went along and did this. I have no idea who it is or why they did this, but it doesn't. It doesn't feel like it's just one person kind of being angry because he bought something that he didn't. He thought was one. Allegedly, of a allegedly right. bought something. Allegedly, right. at, at least for now, until we find out the truth. And 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 here's the other thing. I mean, this could all go down, and we never hear anything. Sure. I mean, that's absolutely positive. That's what they have. Those what's that called? Where they whoosh, whoosh, you can't talk. Yeah. Hush, hush. It, you're not you're not allowed to say anything about what's been said to you or anything like that. And, uh, you know, all right. So, look, here, here's the thing. In the end, unfortunately, you can take this with a, however you want. Andrew has come on the show and said, time out. I will go ahead and come out and let you know I am not uh, Sam Loomis. Um, he, he says that he wishes he was because he would love the – the uh, <laughs> that guy for a, that guy for a while was like the 
biggest Kiss fan, and everybody loved that guy. Can there I were T-shirts. Guy? Yeah, there's can I be that guy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's new T-shirts, um, yeah. And I've known Andrew a long time. I, I believe him. I'm just saying. I've, how long have I known you, Andrew? 20 years. Same yeah. with you, Joey. You're, you you're know, honest, I was a teenager. Man. I was yeah, a you're teenager not, when I you're met not you full of it. I believe so, you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're a little kid. Um, ultimately, everyone, all, all these comments keep talking about it, the hard drive. What's on that hard drive? Guys, it's a hard drive with KISS footage. Right, we've Look, seen a lot of it. Yeah, You've there's people seen online but, that have the here, whole list. The whole list is online somewhere. Right, it, yeah, some, okay, I so mean, yeah, here's the thing. If you guys want to know what's on the hard drive, it li- the list was released today or yesterday, right? Wasn't it? I saw it posted somewhere, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, just find it. I haven't actually seen it, but I got a message from somebody that said, hey, this got this got released. Uh, yeah. Um you know, so go, you can find it. Just Google it. I'm sure if you Google it, <clears throat> it's out there. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. You know, uh, on to the next person. I, I really, I'm going to, you know, a- unless, unless somebody wants to come on here onto the show and like personally tell us their story, if they're involved involved not outside involved or you know i oh i got one or whatever i want to hear it from the horse's mouth uh, you know i'm pretty much done with this uh you guys unless a new video comes out (laughs) all right no Uh, joe what you're saying basically is we we hear a lot of people always going back and forth well we'll we'll say this on this person's behalf and then we're going to defend this other guy over here guys if you want to defend yourselves come and defend yourselves you don't have to by any means there's no, there's no reason to defend yourselves, but if you keep yelling that someone is saying someone is lying and someone, I think this person is that, either stop accusing people or come out and say why you're accusing them. End of story. It's that Proof. easy. Proof Andrew's is saying, pudding. it's not me. Until every, anyone pr- produces proof that it's Andrew, mm-hmm. everyone should shut up. Right. The same goes there's for anybody. Any proof. The, no, the, right. same, the same that goes for any of the other people that have been accused. You can't just say a name. You have to say, you say the name and then you go here, look this, not the palm of my hand. There's no evidence there, but the, 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 here's the proof, you know, and you know, and then, and then we can move on from there, but well, Andrew got busted because of the timing, because of the whole cease and desist at all. Just time. Like, Oh, he must be mad that his video was taken down or won't get out. So it must be yep. him. He's mad. Yep. And that's what I was trying to say. Once you tell the mm-hmm. story from beginning to end like that, it makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah, And facts and sense are, are irrefutable. They really are. Mm-hmm. But Angie, that's why I told you weeks ago, I said, dude, you should come out. Don't, I would never let your, your let anyone drag my name through the mud like that. To me, the way you handle a bully is not the way I used to handle a bully. Bully. You, you ignore a bully and hope they go away. I punch them right in the fucking nose and make them bleed. That's what I do. I you got my big brother to do it. Yeah, you don't ignore a bully because <laughs> when you ignore a bully, they're gonna keep pinching you and keep pulling your hair. That's mm-hmm. what a bully does. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. so so yeah. He, here's the thing. Um, all you guys that are watching right now, go and if you're on the uh, YouTube page, please subscribe, hit the uh, like button, the thumbs up button. It would be appreciated very much. It helps the video move out to the forefront. Here's the other thing. This Sunday. We have a great show. We are going to have two members. I'm not going to tell you two members of the band except on with us. And uh, I know that they're huge kiss fans. I will tell you that they have been, I believe separately on the show before, never together, but we're going to talk about except I think they're, they just got done touring in Europe and they, they may still be there. I've been trying to follow along. It's been really cool to see, uh, the guys over there and seeing, you know, that part of the world. And they're, they're so excited to do it. So they're going to be on with us, uh, on Sunday. So you guys come and hang out with us. Um, and, uh, that's pretty much it. Joey, do you got anything to add? Oh yes. Joey does have something to add. (laughs) Yeah. I did want to announce, uh, officially I will be joining the band quarantine on the upcoming Chris Jericho cruise, oh. uh, their drummer and m- member who started the band Kent uh, plays with the country singer Luke Bryan, 
and he's unable to do the show with them. He's on, he's doing a Vegas residency. So Jericho and the boys recruited me, their mortal enemy, the man who has been bad mouthing <laughs> them since day one. And I still do hate them. Put that next comment up. But, I, but I will, I will join those assholes for this one time to play some kiss eighties classics, baby on the Jericho cruise. That's awesome, up. Joey. Yeah, in yeah, February. Congratulations. February, I forget what day in February. Sometime Let in February. me tell you, That's Joey, awesome. it took all the way up until now for Joey to get put on that cruise. He's been on every one. I have been pitching ideas to him to pitch to Chris Jericho for months now, whether it was jamming with Joey, where you could bring your guitar and get on stage and jam with Joey, cooking with Joey. That was one. Please, no. I do. I, I, there might still might be a no need with Joey Licious segment where you come up and you can uh, taste my meatballs. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, you know, wrestling with Joey Licious <laughs> would have been really just a. How about like a a Q and A where you come out and you're like, hey, oh, and then <clears throat> they show the videos and everybody can sit and watch them. <clears throat> but instead, how come his, no one's been pitching the 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 Creed cover band? Because Joey looks exactly like Scott Stapp. Oh, would make oh a my mint. god. He would make a mint in a creature. You know what? And second thought, maybe he is Sam Loomis, everybody. <laughs> uh, in the end, his fucking talent is what they use. They used his drumming ability. And um, in the end. <laughs> yeah, but it'd be fun. Anyone going on the cruise, definitely come hang. It's going to be a fun time. If, if everyone knows. Buy him a cheeseburger of, or something. Anyone who's ever heard of quarantine, it's, it's Chris Jericho's. Uh, 80s kiss band they do great covers of yes. kiss classics from the 80s things like you'd never expect loves a deadly weapon no mm -hmm. no no silver spoon stuff that you would never think a band is releasing but it, it's great stuff i badmouth them all the time because i hate them because they didn't ask me to be a full-time member but i will do this one show with them they were so great at Creatures Fest. How many shows are you going to play? It's going to be multiple, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe every night on the cruise, two or three, I would think at least, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I love the idea. I think it's. Uh, I I'm I'm really trying very hard to get on there. I was I wanted to. I just. I got to make it work. Uh, just so much happening. Um, all right, so uh, Lee, do you have anything to add? No, this has been very interesting. I just I'm just taking it all in. Out of popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Andrew, Andrew, are you working on anything else that might you might put out? Uh, well, I just released uh, a new single edit for Rock and Roll a Night. Uh, Bruce Kulick okay. just recently shared it, so that was something fun to work awesome. on. Awesome. And uh, you know, there, there are going to be things you know here and there, just fun things. And again, um, it's just it's it's fun. That's all yeah, it is. Yeah, don't stop. Don't let this get to you, man. I Your agree. work is awesome. Definitely, do not stop, Andrew. But I do have to ask. So after the cease and desist. You went out and you still you took some other kiss footage and, and re-edited it, which is marvelous marvelously done. It's killer. Love, love the version you did. But mm -hmm. why did you think maybe that this wouldn't get a cease and desist? Don't know. I rolled the dice again. Yeah, yeah. Just I every time I put something out, I rolled the dice. So maybe you know, tell, just, tell Bruce I, to start promoting it. I started you, to roll the dice again. You, too roll much, the dice uh, again. you know, who who knows? Who knows? Again, I mean, here's the thing. It's I, I'm just I'm a fan creating stuff that I wanted to see as as a fan. So, you know, what does Paul McCartney do when he sees a cool Beatle video? You know, what does what does, you know, anybody else in any other famous band do? You, you know, th that's just that's just what it is. You know, it's just it's I've gotten to a point where I'm known in the Kiss community. And that's why it's a big deal. So yeah, but did, um, did, it's, did. it's, it's funny because I, I thought that when I was in the tribute bands for many, many years, that like, that was all okay, Yeah. Everybody knows me in the kiss world. And this is, this is, um, you know, this is, uh, this is way more than that. I'm just going to answer some of these stupid questions. Um, offered a job you. with kiss. I was not. Yes. Anyone who has um, a question directly for Andrew, write it up. Let's see if Andrew, just, maybe answer a couple. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I just, I just want to get rid of all the bullshit. Right. I really do. You you wish you were offered a job with Kiss, right? Oh yes, that's what the point was of all this. Right. That's why I did all this. It was basically like I, I did these to show that this was like my resume. What did Eric Carr do when he wanted to, to join the band? He put his resume in an orange folder. This was my orange folder. Um, Absolutely. And there are there are thousands of people like you that do fan films across every genre out there, whether it's Star Wars, Marvel 
uh, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, whatever it is, everyone is doing this. So don't think Andrews is a guy that's doing something that's illegal and wrong. And everyone does this. It's across the board. Well, I mean, here's, here's the funny thing, too. There is another popular channel that they did a fan edit of the Kill Bill movies where they reordered the scene sequence and they made it one movie. Phenomenal. Wow. Phenomenal. And, you know, things like that, things like that is awesome. So, mm -hmm. um, but, but again, let's move on. I request right. some cheap trick stuff, Andrew. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I did pitch something to their management company, but I guess just the timing, the timing okay. wasn't right. Um, but uh, they, they got my number and, uh, you know, awesome. they're, they're mm -hmm. just, they're just as good as kisses in my opinion. So, More importantly, right. Andrew, I have something in mind. I'll I'll text you after we're off. I need I need okay. you I need you to work on something since uh, you know you're not leaking any more videos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, you know what I'm gonna say. Uh, we love Kiss podcasts. We love Kiss and we love Kiss podcasts. And you're gonna hear the commercials for all the ones that we love right after this. In three, two, one, peace. peace.